Vietnam. It grabs you and doesn't let you go. Once you love it, you love it forever. Hanoi, capital city of Vietnam. Seven and a half million people live here. In the winter, it's chilly and damp. In the summer, hot, humid, subtropical. The boulevards and many of the buildings are French. But its heart and soul is always, always Vietnamese. Vietnam is still a poor nation. But the standard of living has improved a lot with the relaxing of hardline communist economic policies. More and more foreign tourists every year. Western chains, inevitably, are everywhere. And President Obama is visiting for the first time, taking another step on the long path toward normalizing relations between the two countries. There is no better place to entertain the leader of the free world, in my opinion, than one of these classic, funky, family-run noodle shops you find all over Hanoi. Dinner and a beer cost about $6. I'm guessing the president doesn't get a lot of state dinners like this. We're at a point where we seem to be turning inwards. I mean, we're actually talking about building a wall around our country. And yet you have been reaching out to people who don't necessarily agree with us. Gaza, Iran, Cuba. I mean, I just wish that more Americans had passports. The extent to which you can see how other people live seems useful at worst and incredibly pleasurable and interesting at best. It confirms the basic truth that people everywhere are pretty much the same the same hopes and dreams. And when you come to a place like Vietnam and you see former American Vietnam vets coming back, when you see somebody like a John Kerry or a John McCain, two very different people politically and temperamentally, but who were able to bond in their experience of meeting with their former adversaries. And you don't make peace with your friends. You make peace with your enemies. As the father of a young girl, is it all going to be OK? It's all going to work out. My daughter will be able to come here in five years, 10 years. She'll be able to have a bowl of bun cha, and yeah. the world will be a better place. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think progress is not a straight line. You know, there are going to be moments in any given part of the world where things are terrible. But having said all that, I think things are going to work out. <laughs>